Uh, so we did touch a, a little bit on this, but what encourages you about the ministry of LaGrave? Absolutely. I think LaGrave does a really great job of trying to find its weak spots and to grow in them. Um, like we just talked about that barrier between the older generations and younger generations, LaGrave has definitely identified that and they're trying to do their best to get rid of that barrier. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen that in a lot of areas where LaGrave seeks out areas where it's not as strong and wants to make it stronger. Hmm. I th think you're the first person to articulate that. I, th I think that that's a sense that we have as a church body. Mm -hmm. um, but you might be the, one of the first um, non-staff members <laughs> that have been, have been willing to, <laughs> to acknowledge that. Um, I think that, that is, that's a really important part of a, of a growing church mm -hmm. is to be willing to kind of look at those areas you aren't strong at and, and talk about them. For sure. Um, so you are now sort of at the end of your schooling unless you decide to go further. Um, no. But just kind of thinking about your experience, how has LaGrave shaped you, helped – um, been a presence for you while you've gone through school, maybe high school, maybe college? Absolutely. Um, I would say going to college, that was a big transition for me. I went to private Christian schools all my life. And then obviously that summer camp is a small, very intimate Christian group. And going from that to a giant state university was a pretty big transition for me. Um, so having LaGrave be a constant in my life was a really great thing for me and kind of kept me rooted in my faith too. Mm. Yeah. Um, can you, um, can you speak a little bit more about, uh, how it might've kept you rooted? For sure. Um, state universities, I don't think it's, you know, a surprise to anyone that it's not private Christian school. So I was being exposed to a lot of stuff for the first time that I'd only ever seen in movies and TV shows. So being able to come home, home, being church every Sunday um, and being connected back with my faith and my community was a really great thing for me to be able to take back to school and not only, you know, live there well, but to hope hopefully be a light. Yeah. So I, I almost asked the question and then you, you did answer it. Um, you, you came back to church after a week of being at school to be rejuvenated, For but, sure. but then you turn right around and use that uh, rejuvenation to go out and be a light um, to I your community. So. <laughs> That's the hope. Yeah. And I, you know, that's, that's what I think Sunday is all about. You know, we, we do need to come from wherever we are back into the presence of God, be there with him, be with other believers. Um, but we can't stay there. We got to turn around and we got to go back out into the, into the world and be a light. Um, so that's, that's awesome to hear that that is how your experience has been. Well, thanks. <laughs> it's just it's just fun to hear the stories you know we don't we don't get to hear these kind of things all the time so um and then we just want to make sure that um we covered everything was there something i didn't ask you um that you maybe wanted to talk about no i think lagrave gets an a plus <laughs> <laughs> wonderful uh well <laughs> Jesse, thank you so much for taking the time to do this with us. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting this content out to people. So well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, friends, we are uh, going to keep trying to do virtual Psalm 40 projects. Um, and we are grateful that you've tuned in with us and Jesse Versluce. So see you next time. Yeah.